Hello everyone and welcome to a plugin showcase video in which I'll be showcasing the incredible plugin advanced items. I'll be showing you the overview of the plugin. So let's get right into it. So as you can see I'm holding two different items here. They both are made by advanced items. So as soon as you load the plugin you actually receive these two. Uh, I mean not into your inventory but you can like just use AI give player name and the item which you want. I actually currently gave myself a create and a combo sword. I'll be showing you the create actually. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. So how the create works is you have to just right click the create and you get a message and then you get a title message saying congratulations and then you even win the reward here. So like there's even a message here showing that. So you can actually give yourself the item again. So here you can view what contents will be given in the create. So like you can win anything between the four. So you can actually like right click it again and you're going to win something else now. So there you go, you won gold ingots. So it's actually not emerald this time. So I'll be showing you now how to create your own items. So just to let you know that a in-game editor is coming out soon. So that's something really cool actually. But for now, I'll be showing you the configuration. So currently you can see the creates YML file here. This is how the item was created. So like you can add your own load, you can add your own name. And you can also choose the block here. So I could actually just keep ender chest instead. But a chest would work fine too. And here are some settings you can edit. So like you can uh, disable stacking so you, you can only hold one rate and also this setting it's kind of like so if it's false here and you give a certain item for example if you give this crate to a player he can actually give it to another person but if you turn this to true here only the owner can claim it or use it and use the usage limit you can uh, disable it but also you can like enable it you can just put a five usage limit you can also restrict the item in a world so like so if you don't want players to use it in a world for example you have a world called spawn and you don't want players to use your items in spawn so you have to just type spawn here so like it kind of disables it in the world you can also disable interactions here for example like uh, you know if you just disable it you can't place it on the ground but you can also like just uh, you know put it false if you want players to be able to place the block so as soon as you turn it to false and reload the plugin players can place the item and this is one thing which is actually like pretty useful so like if you have any item a menu item maybe and you want it to be at the ninth slot of your inventory so you can just like disable it and then players can't move it at all so like that's kind of cool actually because if the players move it and stuff like it might be a little annoying to deal with later so it's kind of better to just keep it like if you want to disable it or stuff and this is actually a really cool one so like if you drop the item it will glow currently creates so currently for crates you drop the item it glows so let's try that so here i'm gonna give myself a crate so ai give player name create and one so let me just throw that so you have to actually disable interactions uh, to you know just throw it or so so like i've disabled it here now i'm gonna save it and now i'm gonna reload the plugin so like as you can see i've thrown the item and it's glowing there so there's a white overlay on the glow there special crate and it's actually like so cool you know and then you can just walk over it and get back the item you can also edit the join settings so like if you have any special item which you wish to give uh, maybe you want to give them only on the first join so you can do that or you can give the item to the player on every join so like every time a player joins they'll receive the item and you can even edit the slots so like for example the menu which i talked about earlier so it starts from zero actually so you have to put eight if you want it to be on the last slot and here's the abilities part actually there's a whole uh, wiki understanding it i'll be showing you that later in the video so you can actually like uh, add triggers so like this is the trigger actually the right click so like if a player right clicks the item it actually uh, happens it works like that and here's the conditions so you can accordingly do that i'll be explaining that more in the video later and here's the fx actually so like here's the fx so the current default they've actually cancelled the event first they've deleted it so like they basically just removed it from your inventory so that you know you just claim the reward in a few seconds later and then there's the set variable here and here's the title as you can see uh, the one which showed up and here's the subtitle he actually added case so it jumbles up they took like four seconds long so like they waited for 80 ticks and then there was a random reward here so like it was between diamond golden gods iron gods and emeralds and there was even a jumble for the random number so like the quantity quantity of the items and there were a lot more effects here so like there was a you know, congratulations message and then there was a title i mean this was the title and that was the message and here was subtitles so everything can be added by yourself 
I'll be showing you that later in the video. So yeah, that's pretty much that for the crates. So that's pretty much how that works. And for the distribution bar, so like so if you want to give the item to a player, so if you have a plugin specially made to give rewards, so you can like kind of just do AI give, and then you can use the placeholder, which will be player name. So now if you want to distribute, uh, you know, the items, so the command is actually AI give. And then the player name so like if you want to add it in the plugin or something so if you have like a voting plugin or something you just type player name or use whatever placeholder which works there but here i'm running it in game so i'm going to use my own username so now you can actually like uh i'm going to show you guardian actually it's actually a very cool item so like you just put one and then you can check the item here it says that it spawns guardians when you right click the item so it basically just uh, spawns wolves so you can just like maybe wear it and then right click <laughs> And as you can see, the wolves have been spawned here. So you got two wolves. That's pretty much that of how the item works. So that you get guardians for yourself, and you can give yourself some bones here. So like, just give yourself some 64 bones. And let me just kill the person. You can see the wolves mine now. And what about the other wolf? I guess the other wolf ran. This is actually a really cool item. You could actually like I'll be showing you now. So this is how the item looks. You can actually edit the name. You can, you can actually edit the item you want to right click. And here's the lower, here's the force glow, and here's the disabled stacking. I've explained pretty much everything for the crates one. And here's the abilities actually. So like once a player right clicks the item, it spawns wolves. So this is actually another way for the item to found. So you can actually just add this to the file here. So let me just add it over here. So I actually set so that you need nine red beds for the plugin to create it on like the recipe. So like once the player crafts this, you know, with the recipe and then you get the item, the guardian item. So let me just try that now. So let me just reload the plugin real quick. So I have to just reload it and let me give myself like nine red beds. So like nine red beds. And then once I craft it, uh, let me just open the virtual crafting table. So like as soon as I craft it, I'll get the guardian shield. As you can see, it has been created there because I added the recipe and you can actually even add like the loot generation. So like you just copy paste it here. So like, let me just add it above abilities. So now you can actually just go through the wiki and you can actually view the places over here. So maybe you wanted to spawn an abandoned mine shop. So you can just copy that and then you can go here and you can type that and then just add the percentage. So like you can maybe add hundred percent. And you know reduce this to 10 so like as you added this as 100 so it's going to spawn in the chests in the abandoned mine shafts all the time because you put it 100 so like that's how you can like generate loot in regions also there are some popular plugins which are compatible with the advanced items so like you can find the list over here below so like here's the list uh there's a summary of the list actually there's plugins like towny factions there's even vulcan anti-cheat here and there's even MCMO, it's like a very big plugin. So there's that, and there's even luck perms. Also, do know that. So, like, if you have item slider plugin or Oraxin, you can actually like uh, add custom textures. So, here's an example as you can see. This preview here actually uses a custom texture. Pretty sure it's a custom texture because I know for sure it's not in the default Minecraft. So, that's one thing. So, now let me show you the wiki. So, the wiki is actually on the default page over here. So, you can just click it. And you will find the wiki here. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. So you can actually just go for the list of items that are default. So like all these items are already included in the default plugin. So like as soon as you load the plugin, you will be able to access this all. So these are all the items and you can actually go to the creating items part here. So actually everything is explained here step by step. So like first you have to go to the items folder. So here's the items folder and you need to create a new file here. So let me just get started by copying this. So you can just paste it over here and let me just create the file first so i can just type it custom youtube yml so like that's the item now so now the item is actually a crafting table and the virtual crafting table so you can get started with that and you can even force the glow here so you can go to the next step and you can copy paste this this is actually the settings so you can basically just like go there make sure you have no spaces because you need to copy paste it properly so there is that and you could actually disable stacking, owners only. I've actually explained everything here. So there's nothing really there to explain. But if you want to add an item, this is how we do it. So you have to just go copy paste that. So you basically just add everything like that. So it pretty much works like that. And you can add the loot generations. I've explained that already. And there's even the abilities. And here's the recipes, which I showed you earlier. So there's actually a full explanation over here. There's even an additional wiki here. If you are having doubts on how to configure custom items and such. So like you can go through that. And then here's the general settings. 
So like everything is actually explained over here. So the item abilities, joint settings, recipe crafting and even loot generation and you can actually view the commands and permissions over here uh, you know if you have an admin and you want to give him the permission to give players the items you can just use luck forms and give this to them and here's how it explains on like how to give items so like you can actually read everything but it's pretty self-explained already and here's the effects and abilities so i did say that i was going to explain conditions so you can just click over conditions here and the new page will be opened here so this is actually a condition here so like it basically checks health of the victim so like if it's more than five it stops there's even another one here so this condition checks if the player is in the world the mentioned world and then it allows the condition and that's pretty much that for the conditions actually uh, you can view everything over here so everything is pretty explained over here this is actually the condition comparison so like it's the equal less than more less than equal to and there's, there's the more than more than equal to so there's that and everything is actually pretty self-explained here and i do recommend checking the plugin page over because everything is very detailed over here and there's even some previews here which you might be interested in viewing and also i'll be including the discord link in the description so make sure you join that and yeah that's pretty much that there's nothing really else to do so yeah see ya